your welcome to the telecast of Potter's House Christian Mission in Bado, Nigeria. It promises to be a time of blessing each time we come your way. And I know that the Lord will bless you through this program that is called What Said the Scriptures. When you hear that ladies were sleeping with one another in the hostel on campus, what did you do? You are thinking you are just there for nothing. And you don't understand that your idleness your joblessness your lack of employment now take just watch the way I put it it's not because there is economic recession in Nigeria it is because you refuse to respond to a matter you ought to respond to. Nitori we be o kobi arasin to ye ko kobi arasin. Maybe it was not in the plan of Ahasuerus to have a governor in Judah. Boya ki ti ese ko sini nu erongba oba suwresi. But as Nehemiah responded to the news from Judah, and he cried, and he mourned, and he fasted, just because of news he heard about Judah. And the king said, So for what does that make requests? What do you want? And Nehemiah said, If it pleases the king to send me to Judah, to go and build the city of my father's sepulchres, and to rebuild the gates thereof that are born with fire, I will go. And it was because of that the king was pleased to appoint Nehemiah as the Tashata. Tashata means governor for the region of Judah. Even though the king did not have a replacement for, for Nehemiah. He said, how long will your journey be? And when will you return? How many times do you want to serve as a governor? And Nehemiah gave him a time. I will spend 12 years. And after 12 years, Nehemiah resigned as a governor. And he came back to the palace as a cup bearer. But 12 years as a governor is not small. There was nothing like that before that time. You will think that there is no space for work. But when he understood why he was where he was, when he responded to news, it became a dream that he pursued in prayer and he became a governor in that respect. Young man. Around you are 
opportunities. Ni agbegbere o ni opolopo anfani yanturuwa. Those strange things happening around you are opportunities for your greatness. Awon isele to sajeje to nsele laye ka re yi o ji anfani la fun. God is making you to hear about them deliberately so that you can respond. He makes you see people languishing in abject poverty so that you can respond because there is a job waiting for you there. But not responding is the trouble in God's heart. It's a sign that you don't know why you are, where you are. They told Ezra, this matter belonged unto you. They told Ezra, this matter belonged unto you. Arise and do it. We will support you. But it's your matter. I sense in my spirit that offices you never imagine exist exist around you. Something tells me there is something about you that will daze the world. Only if you respond to issues around you. When you were born, you were born with the intention to solve problems. You were born to be answered to questions in the minds of people. It would be strange for you to be sleeping in the midst of this strange happening. It is strange that the church is asleep in the midst of this strange happening things that we don't hear about before we started hearing about them we just we just laugh I'm always afraid of opening videos sent to me on whatsapp because I, I I know that Christians sometimes could be very careless. Somebody sent one to me recently. And it was one of these uh, terrorists that blew off the head of one man with a gun. So I asked, why did you send this to me? Why did you send such? He said that you may pray. I said, do I need that for me to pray? Do I need to watch a sex film to pray for prostitutes? Is that how to induce prayer? The Bible never gave us graphic story of how the brethren were killed. He will mention it as if it's not so serious. He said, look, it's so that brethren can be aware. I said, tell me that a Christian recorded this footage. Was he recorded by a Christian? Or what kind of nonsense is this? A terrorist recorded it. 
He has a mission for recording it. And then he is depending on a Christian to spread it. What foolishness. What foolishness. Now how do I watch that and I will not grow hatred in my heart? Growing hatred does that make me a Christian? Growing bitterness would that make me a Christian? How does that make sense? It appears we don't know why we are where we are. Brethren, it is time to respond. It is time to speak up. It is time to tell the world that the church is not dead and we cannot be taken for granted it is time to let them know that when they want to do something they will think first about Christians that these people will react fear of work up it was not human beings eating themselves animals were eating themselves it was enough for Pharaoh to lose his sleep it was not that the ear con stopped working no it was not that a coup was planned against his government not that a coup was planned against his government. No! Cows! Cows! Eating themselves. Pharaoh lost his sleep. He woke up in the morning. The Bible says he gathered all the magicians and all the wise men of Egypt. Wherever they were, almost report at Cairo. At Cairo. Cairo. They must leave whatever they were doing. And they must come. Everywhere the key. Once he was in Cairo. I said, Cabius. He said, Your breakfast. May you leave long. Over. Your breakfast. No, 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 no. The Bible says his spirit was troubled. His spirit. A problem that thought through his flesh, thought through his soul, and landed in his spirit. What? Was it because Central Bank collapsed? No. It was a dream. His spirit was troubled. The butler, as he entered and he saw the face of the king, he reversed. Pharaoh said, shut down the gates of the palace. Cancel all appointments. All state, all state functions canceled. They say, Maja, your majesty. The king of Ethiopia is due to come today. You have a bilateral talk. He said, cancel it. Over what? Ordinary dream. 
ordinary dream. Nobody who will come near. When the magicians gathered. And the wise men. From everywhere. Now even if it were to be today. Where there are flights. Do you think all of them can gather in a day? I imagine that it took days for all of them to report at Cairo. I imagine in my heart for those days the king was troubled. They brought the musicians. They sang before the king. They saw that the face was blank. All the songs, all the display could not remove the trouble in his spirit. The more they tried to do, the stronger it was in his spirit. When they gathered, he said, May you live long? Okay. Your message was very urgent, sir. We hope there is no problem. There is. There is. What is it, Kabis? What is happening? Okay. He said, I have a dream. One of them said, Dream. Dream. Ah. Dream. 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 As he got up, I got up, but we, I should not just rebuke and let We can only admonish them. That's not serious, sir. You will have just sent an email or send a WhatsApp or you just record it on Instagram. We'll have just. What's up you back? I can write down the They were making it to look as though light. As much as they tried, Pharaoh said, You are not talking, we are not on the same wavelength. There is a trouble here. I sit on this throne for that reason. I am not here as a figurehead. How can it be in my kingdom? Animals eating themselves. Plants eating themselves. And you say there is no problem. There is problem. It's all right. So what do you want? It's the interpretation. They said, how do we interpret Cow eating cow. <laughs> doesn't have interpretation. Uh, Baker. Uh, yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. As the king eating, he said, for the past three days, uh, it's a psychological problem. Uh. <laughs> Go and prepare food for Kabiyesi. Kabiyesi, you need to eat. Okay, you need to eat. You see, when you eat, you will see that you'll be alright. As we are checking, we saw that you have psycho... 
and they call it one name. <laughs> or, or <laughs> Pharaoh said, you may call me a madman. But I know I am not. You are the one who is unwise. You can go. You don't have solution to my problem. And somebody says, sir, since those we know who could interpret dream have come, and there was nothing. Don't you think you should throw it away? And face and face and face something else. Let's, 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 let's move on. It was a dream. And Alasi go. And the, the dream could be fully. Pharaoh said no. Pharaoh said no. As the butler came again to make the heart of the king merry, to make the heart of the king merry, and he offered the king the best of the wine. The king said, No, I am not eating, I'm not drinking until I get to the root of this matter. Understanding why you are where you are. What touched me about Pharaoh was that he was a Gentile. He was an uncircumcised king. Yet he was such a very concerned person. Why are you trivializing God's dealings with your life? Why are you not concerned about things happening around you? I see they were just happening accidentally. Why are you that careless in your thoughts? Why are you not prompt in your response to things around you? This evening, I will want you to respond. I will want you to ask God that God should make your heart no more a careless one. No more careless. That the Lord will make your heart never to be careless again. That you may understand that news flying around you are opportunities God has brought to you. Opportunities for your greatness. Those who dominate the world today either in, in technology, in oil and gas, they were people who saw problems of people and they find solution to it. They didn't see it as problem, they saw it as opportunities. They began to look for what to do about it. They solve problems and we depend on it. Our they make us almost their slaves. Everyone here, as many as we are here, carries at least one phone. 
So you can imagine how many phones are under this tent. Some of us has two. Some has three. You say, ah, ah, I carry three. I carry my own, I carry the media. The one we use on our on our TV program. I carry it. So you can imagine numbers of phone present here. Some of us have it as prayer point that you want to buy phone. That God is even aware in heaven that a phone must be bought. And somebody sat down and saw a problem. And they found solution. What's the one about us? And now you are praying for money to go and give to him. Don't you think that God has made you better? Only that we don't respond. If Pharaoh stopped to search, he would would think there is no solution. But because he did not stop, even when he came to the end, and there was nowhere to turn to, something told him, if you press it further, you will get a solution. This program was brought to you by Porter South Christian Mission, Bedford, Alata Village, of Ijebude Ibadan Road, Adebayo Idia Yure, Ibadan, Nigeria. We believe that the Lord has richly blessed and challenged your heart by today's telecast. For further inquiries, prayers, and counseling, please contact us on... Bless you.